Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are, welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, uh, episode 400. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to uh, answer the questions uh, asked in the um, uh, <coughs> Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us today, we have um, Rob Mars. Rob is an AdWords aficionado. He's based in the Netherlands. Um, he, uh, um, it's, it's, um, you're a Google product expert on the AdWords uh, community, yes? Yeah, cool. All right. And Masataki Wasa is webmaster of wasaweb.net. He's a Google product expert in the AdSense uh, community. Um, you can find Masataki in Wimbledon uh, and also at wasaweb.net, W-A-S-A-W-E-B.net. Richard Hearn uh, is uh, uh, based in Thailand and sometimes in Ireland, um, working in Australia, somewhere along the line you'll... Uh, uh, have to run into Richard Hearn. Uh, he mainly deals in upper echelon websites. And um, you can find Richard at redcardinal.ie. Or, or can you, though, Richard? <laughs> All right. And um, David Rosam is... Uh, um, a leading internet marketer. He's based in West Sussex, uh, down there in Harry and Megan's territory in, in the UK, um, not too far from Brighton. Uh, he's a, a leading internet marketer. You can find David at davidrazam.com. All right, um, let's um, move to um, our questions tonight. Our first one. Uh, is um, should um, RSS feeds be no index? Um, I see Ma Michael Martinez, uh, and he's a, he is a stalwart. Um, he's answered um, <coughs> very succinctly. Anything to add to this one, guys? I'll mention one or two things just to say WordPress, if you're on WordPress, which is something like 34% of all websites on the web these days, <clears> it's a bit of a beast and a bit of a monster for, for, for feeds. It creates feeds for comments, for for all sorts of things on your site. And actually, if the bigger, if you've got a really big site, Google can crawl a lot of these feeds and then they just <coughs> report saying crawled, not indexed or different errors that you'll get or messages you'll get and sometimes like it, it, it's surely wasting crawl budget especially for really large sites so i think i mentioned on that like you can just turn them off there's hooks in wordpress to turn off the feeds or you can install a plugin to turn off various feeds and in general i turn off like feeds on comments on posts on tags and leave them on for categories generally that's all i leave them on for and then the 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 main feeds that you'd use for things like Google News Publisher and Apple News, things like that. But it's definitely worthwhile, I think, to turn them off. WordPress is too aggressive with them, for sure. Okay. Still trying to find the button to uh, display our, uh, our recording, but um, <laughs> I'll do it in this next one. Um, let's move on to number two on our run list. Uh, it's from Benjamin McIntyre. It's titled, How do you move uh, existing traffic and rankings to a new domain? Finally, a question we can get our teeth into. Um, what uh, uh, Benjamin says, uh, hi, guys. When doing an SEO migration to a new domain, does the old website or do the uh, old website files need to remain active on a server? Should 301 redirects be done via the htaccess file or is there a better way? Also, how do you move existing traffic and rankings from the old domain to the new domain?
Nobody wants to tackle this migration. Change of address tool is your friend. If you're moving to Maine and you're keeping the site more or less structured as, as, it, as it was previously, if you just change the domain and you keep all your URLs the same, use the just 301 and change of address, it'll, it'll work pretty well. Change of address tool, by the way, is inside Google Search Console. Thank you, Rob. And thank you, Richard. The old website files don't need to be there. You know, if it's being redirected, then, you know, um, the file's not going to be cold, as it were. So um, we don't need to keep that. Um, Otherwise, I think what Richard said. Yeah, if you're if you're making changes to the site as well as moving uh, domain, um, you might well want to keep the uh, the old site, the old files in place, uh, just to check that you've got all the three hundred one redirects right. Um, but otherwise, yes. What the others said. <laughs> Tell me something, guys. Can you see um, the um, um, question displayed on the screen? Ah, oh, good. Thank you. All right. Let's let's have a look at the next one on our run list. It's number three. It's from Jeremy Harris. He said, "I am new here, and I have a, a few general questions." Um, and um, he. He said, I'm, I'm hoping to get some clear answers on it. He said, I help run a news company that is in the field of gaming. And uh, almost daily, we receive sponsored content opportunities. These companies offer to create an article that fits the brand of the website. And uh, they include uh, typically uh, uh, one, possibly two, do follow links. Um, they can range um, from the... Um, uh, the genres uh, of uh, casino, gambling, CBD, etc. My question is, should these uh, be avoided at all costs? Uh, how would Google handle this and are there any perks? Is there any instance that this is a good idea? Obviously, the revenue is good, but at the end of the day, if it will harm them, uh, then I'd like to know that from the experts in this group. I see Richard Hearn said, uh, avoid at all costs, uh, pure spam, and likely to get your site a nice uh, penalty. And um, I, I know Tim Kappa isn't here at the moment, but I know he'd be saying exactly the same. Yeah, I, I did think about doing a, a Tim Kappa impression, but I don't think I can get the intensity. Mm. Yeah, it, it, is, it is a bit well, of a strange... Uh, situation, isn't it? Because the um, it's in the field of gaming, yet the things that are offered are yeah. casino gambling and CBD. Um, you know, if you exclude cryptocurrency, these are the things that are sort of pretty um, dicey places to go, um, risky places to go, um, bad neighborhoods, that kind of thing. So, yeah, avoid at all costs. He's he's already in the bad neighborhood, though. I presume, like when he says field of gaming, he means that he's in he's in the gambling niche. So, ah, that's gaming. Okay, I, 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 thought it was I don't know. I mean, I don't know what he means. That's funny. Like, but I was just thinking, reading it, does he mean gaming as in computer gaming, or does he mean gaming as in if he's from the states, he might mean gaming as in gambling? I don't know. I'm not sure. Ah, that's a good point. Uh, I thought it was computer games, so that, that's why I was... It, it, it probably <laughs> is, but the first thing when I read it, I thought to myself, well, does he mean... It just sounds a bit odd, you know? Like, Yeah. Yeah, I, I like Master, I read it as uh, computer gaming, but... As it probably say, is. It probably is. None of these, <laughs> none of these uh, genres, as he puts it, um, 
fit with computer gaming, do they? Or that, well, you might want to see. They, if you're they don't care. Gaming. They don't care, David. They just as like within gambling, and I've only come across a little bit of gambling SEO just by chance, helping some friends. <laughs> And they really, it's 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 an edge of the internet where, you know, anything flies. Well, you know, they well, be possible anywhere. Does he have any chance of of getting somewhere without links? Maybe, or maybe he 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 he, he, he will have to do it if he wants to start. He will have to take the risk almost if you're honest. Course, well, he, 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 you know, this is like the emails you get where people are saying, Would you like to have a sponsored article? And here's 90 books, and it'll have a couple of follow links in it. Like, well, the 90 books isn't really worth it. Like, if you're, it depends. I don't know. It really depends on the side. But I mean, yeah. Yeah. The risk is burning down your own house, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. So how much is it worth that? Mm. Well, That's Google doesn't like burn it. down that much anymore. They tend to ignore. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I said they still hand out plenty of penalties. That's, that's Not my... any anymore. No? Don't don't see that that much in the. <laughs> mm. I, I I would imagine like for smaller sites they probably I, I'm guessing a little bit but I'd say they probably do maybe maybe we just don't hear about big sites getting penalized because they don't need to they don't need to anymore they can just turn off link use or whatever they do or ignore the links I'm not sure but yeah i mean also like if this guy is trying to build his site and he has some users who are coming there well like i'm you know if he's a gaming site and if it is gaming as in pc gaming and um, will his users really want to see content about like gambling and cbd you know it's uh he's got to think about his users also so um yeah and of course the it, again it depends on what kind of gaming and if it, even if it is computer gaming um you know it, what it must be it, it must be. you know yeah. you don't want to show gambling casino cbd content to minors you know yeah no but it must be gaming because there's no way you could have a gambling site and not know about this shit. like there's just no way you know i mean like the guys i know who work in the gambling niche like they're they're sort That's of cool. totally totally tuned into the web stuff you know they know exactly what's going on so it's a cutthroat industry, isn't it? I mean, well, it's all like it's all affiliate, you know. It's 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 virtually all affiliate. So yeah, it must be just it must be PC gaming like that. It, it just my imagination running wild with the gaming bit, but yeah, he definitely doesn't want to go down this route. I don't think. Hmm. Land in tears. Yeah. And just for those who didn't pick it up, um, the, the the links portion of this was uh, him selling links, um, not him buying links. Makes sense, I hope. All right, let's go to um, number four on our run list. We're ripping through this week's complement of questions. Uh, Rakesh Efto. Uh, uh, said uh, or asked the question title Does changing server location affect Google Analytics data? Um, and uh, yeah, okay. What, um, what do you guys think? I see Michael Martinez has uh, made his statement. It's a very odd question. It's not really clear what the intent is here, or what 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 sort of what what or what are they looking for? Um, like I don't think Google Analytics really cares about a server IP because Google Analytics is never well, apart from some of the performance stuff in Google Analytics, 
uh, Google Analytics is never talking to your server. It's it's coming from clients' browsers and talking but talking to Google servers. So it's uh, yeah. I don't know why you know changing a server or having your site on a different server how it could possibly affect Google Analytics. It shouldn't do unless you migrate your site and you do you 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 have some error where you forget or you you don't. You don't set Google Analytics up correctly, but I don't know how else it could possibly affect Google Analytics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's some good stuff in there though about about server location and SEO. So there are some good comments in there, but that's not what what the person is asking about, as far as I can see. They're asking about Google Analytics purely. So. <coughs> All right, let's uh, move on to the next. It's number five on our run list. We've got uh, three left. Um, Sam Ma, um, who has asked a number of questions of us uh, in the past. Sam wants to know, the title of the question is, what tools do you use uh, to check your competitors' link profiles? Uh, he goes on to say, what tools do you use? Um, he said, I suspect uh, they buy links. I want to verify their backlinks. I uh, love Michael, Michael Martinez. He said, I doubt that would be a good use of your time. Well, personally, I don't use um, any tools to to check my clients' competitors' backlinks. God, that's a mouthful. Um, for the very similar reasons to Michael's, I think. Uh, I don't see much point in doing it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the next. Um, it's... Um, Number six on our run list, it's from George Gomez Siton, uh, and it's titled Promoting a Blog Post in LinkedIn, Medium, and Quora. He said, can I grab a good blog post for my blog and paste it in LinkedIn, Medium, and Quora to promote it? Now... I'm not sure about Quora, but you can certainly do that with LinkedIn and Medium. In fact, Medium's set up to do that. Um, you can just um, you can just paste in the, the URL of the the blog post, um, and apparently sets up sets up the canonicals, uh, the canonical, and um, it just appears, and you can tweak it a bit to make it. Um, as formatted for for medium, but they actually uh, they actually encourage you to do it, um, and you can do it. The you can also do it on LinkedIn, um, but LinkedIn doesn't allow you or doesn't <coughs> set up a canonical for you. Um, but as it's behind a uh, behind a, a password, um, it probably doesn't matter. Um, Cora, I haven't got a clue. Yeah. By the way, I, I just um, received an email from T Tim Kepper. Um, he's has enough of the life force uh, in him to be able to type a response. Um, he has uh, Cov ID, um, so our thoughts are with him, and we hope that uh, he uh, gets well. Um, yeah, but apparently he's flat on his back from from it um, right now. Oof, yikes. Hmm. Oh, that's bad news. Hope he gets well soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's... Um... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean... Um... So, what's the point? I know 
it's been answered, but I still didn't get the the question of why do you want to post your blog post on Medium? I mean, social you, media platforms I sort of get, but you want to promote Medium, your own blog, so therefore he publishes should be publishing an extract of his blog to <clears throat> gain the interest of people on those media. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, and then LinkedIn Quora, sort of, well, Quora is sort of a, a, another different case. LinkedIn sort of makes sense to me, right? You know, okay, this is my LinkedIn profile. This is what I wrote about. Find out more. Uh, or, you know, you have a blog post and then have discussion on LinkedIn. That sort of makes sense. But if you're going to reproduce it on Medium, it sort of is a complete replica, isn't it? Duplicate. Well, if it if that's where your if that's where a significant part of your customer base happens to hang out, then put it on medium. Yeah, but why do you use a, then in a sense, why do you want to use a separate blogging platform? Uh, because do you, want... you don't want to put all your eggs in someone else's basket. Yeah, yeah. But I mean do really people do people use medium? For that kind of purposes, I mean, I haven't used Medium, but I always thought Medium was a kind of a publishing platform. It is a sort of um, for people who want to write long format posts. If that makes sense, <laughs> it's not. I never had the impression that Medium was a particularly business oriented um, place. I thought it was sort of really a location for publishing stuff or posting things. But it has the sort of, you know, the comments and sort of interlinking with other content as well. So there is certain um, set of advantages there. If I if I was running um, courses for for writing, um, there are lots of writers on uh, uh, on, on Medium. So yeah. you know, they, they could be that kind of uh, customer base for for a start. I'm but sure there are lots of others as well. Yeah, but then my argument or my question would be, why don't you then concentrate on medium? Um, mm. And then sort of point, in, if necessary, point towards your site, you know, your sales site or whatever you're doing, rather than having a blog section on your own site and then reproducing that on medium. Yeah. I'm I, 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 medium, are they? They're not, like, it's not a... Unless you get picked up by a curated list or something, you're probably not going to get much traction. Hmm. And if you do get traction, then the question is, why would you want to have your own your own blog, as Masataki is saying? So I, my guess is that this person is just trying to generate more traffic and more views of their content. That's probably their goal. And yeah, some good arguments made here for medium, maybe... Like could be the platform they blog on as opposed to somewhere else they post their content to. <laughs> See it in his uh, analytics, which one help and which one don't. If it's for traffic, if he's doing it for, for search, he shouldn't be doing it. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's the overall strategy and the uh, the goal, isn't it? Uh, you know, without knowing those, it's a bit difficult to really say much because you know what what does he want to achieve by doing what he's doing? He won't tell us now. <laughs> well, if we wait long enough, he might do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have we covered this one, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to add, uh, what, why grab a good blog post um, from his blog um, and, and paste places in LinkedIn medium and Quora. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I, I, 
I really don't sort of open up LinkedIn with, with the thought of uh, learning something or, you know, getting, you know, it's just hopelessly spam. Um, Medium and Quora, uh, uh, I don't really know much about Medium, but Quora um, I've, I've seen a bit of. Um, yeah, I, I don't see that as, as, as helping. It might be a big hit in India, but uh, it's not um, you know, something that I, I'd be keen on. Anyway, let's go to our last question. Joe Cobbill uh, asks, uh, he said, the way my website treats products is hurting SEO. He said, currently the way my work works website uh, treats products, I think is hurting SEO because every vehicle has a VIN number. As they are sold, they are deleted from the site. He said, I think that um, leaving them up is better than simply changing the VIN would be better or doing 301 redirects. Do you think I'm wrong in my assumption? I think you're right. Anybody else? A VIN is a vehicle identification number, and it's generally unique to the vehicle. It never changes. So I, I couldn't quite understand why he would talk about changing the VIN. And I also don't understand, like, is the VIN in the URL or something? Or <coughs> No, but see, what, what he's saying is that when the vehicle is sold, yeah. um, they're deleted from the site. And then they come up later with another another identical vehicle, um, cha differing only in the, in the VIN. And um, what, for what purpose? I mean, really, for the person searching, he doesn't care what the VIN number is. Um, he just wants to, to, to buy uh, um, a, a particular car. But it sounds like he's got a car, <laughs> he's got a injury, or he's got a trailer. Okay, it's got a VIN number. It must be identified in some way by the VIN within his CMS or something. And he's saying that like he deletes them when they're sold, but he'd rather he thinks it's better to change the VIN, which which basically unsells. Yeah, because the page that is holding that car, which is sold, is being indexed before, and he wants to keep that indexed page. Uh, for being found yeah. for that model of car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, listen, if, and I suppose it's different if you're sort of setting the same type of car, many of the same type, but, you know, obviously each car will have its own individual bin. Or if you're a second hand car dealer, for example, and have different cars, and then it's different cars and no, none of the same, if that makes sense. Then those are two different situations, isn't it? And if you have red car, um, then you know, even if you sell one, then the description is going to be the same because it's the same car, different car, but um, the same type. <clears throat> it's a tricky one. I've worked in this with a couple of car sites. I've worked with, 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 with some really big automotive data sites, but I've worked with some car sites where it's cars for sale and it is tricky. What do you do if you've got a car for sale and there could be links to it and then it's either removed from the inventory or it's sold or whatever? What do you do with the Earl and do you redirect it? But you've got to do it in a way that actually doesn't hurt users. I mean, users aren't going to understand what's happening if they clicked on a page mm -hmm. for a whatever type of car and it suddenly goes to a category page. But the one thing I'd say about this guy is he mentions in the comments that he's selling trailers. He's not selling cars. So <laughs> it's, 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 you know, it's not quite like I'm looking for a Ford Focus. Mm. Ford Focus has been sold. I'll tell you some other Ford Focuses. I, like it sounds very bespoke. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, the question is, in, in, of course, redirect if it makes sense for the user. Um, and you know, if I'm looking for a trailer, I don't know, as in, is there a trailer for a horse or whatever? I don't know. But, you know, I don't want to be redirected for a different kind of trailer if I'm looking for a trailer for a horse. Mm. So, you know, if it's individual different types, you know, if it's the same model, 
a different individual trailer, then it makes sense to redirect. But if it's a different type of trailer for different purpose, different size, then it wouldn't really make sense to redirect. But I don't know. Yeah, it, it's going to vary. <laughs> also, it depends on how big a site is, how much inventory it has, what the velocity of the inventory is. Like, it may make no sense to be doing redirects because by the time Googlebot has figured that stuff out, stuff as well is long since gone. Um, it may just be better to 404. It, it depends on so many different factors, I think. Uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, like Masataki says, you need to do what's good for users. So you don't want users having a, having a shitty experience because they come to a page looking for something in particular, and then you're sending them to something that you think is similar, but actually it doesn't match the user intent at all. So, and, and you know, the other thing is he may be overthinking things here with like 301 redirects and what to do. It could be very easy for him to break something and to do something that's really suboptimal. So I'd be careful with this. I, I kind of like the suggestion in the comments uh, where somebody suggests to use a uh, uh, recent default uh, category, a new category on its site. That's a good idea, yeah. As long as your URLs don't change, yeah. Yeah. If you change the URLs, you're, yeah, you're. Yeah, then you, then you would have to redirect. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. extra work. <laughs> oh, so extra. You can well. do that. The other thing you can do is, of course, what you can do is you can actually change the listing page so that if something is sold, what you do is maybe at the top of the page, similar to the banner, you actually list similar cars. Um, that can be a way to do it also. And then you're getting more links internally as well, which are pretty pretty much on, on target in terms of topicality as well. So. Mm -hmm. Sold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know what happens when I click this button. It's thank you for watching time. Look, um, sadly, uh, the Tim Kappa can't be with us uh, tonight. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, I thought, so. Uh, William, and we hope that, that uh, he. Um, handles this um, illness. Uh, We're um, still on air, Jim. Pardon? We are still on air. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm no, I, I thought you were pushing a button. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm just hoping that, uh, that uh, Tim uh, uh, gets well soon. Um, anyway. I'd like to thank you guys too. Um, uh, you guys kept this uh, thing going week after week uh, for over eight years, and um, you know, let's see what the next eight years does. But uh, I think uh, we have helped um, lots and lots of people. Uh, our, our aim from from the outset was just to provide some clarity, some um, basically provide a no bullshit zone. Um, where um, people could re rely on the, uh, they may not like what we have to say, but uh, at least uh, they can rely on, on what we have to say. Um, I think we're, we're credible. Um, maybe not, maybe incredible, but anyway, what, whatever. We'll let me back. Oh, and look, and also I must thank um, uh, Michael Martinez and uh, uh, Michael Stricker uh, uh, and all of the other the people who uh, front up um, day after day answering questions uh, on the WCA Questions Facebook group. All right, um, we'll be turning off as soon as I figure out the right button to press. Um, yeah.